Okay, guys, we're getting toward the end, and you've got some decisions to make. And I know you've seen a lot of new concepts, but I know you can identify with a lot of the testimonies that have been in pain because they've been on every diet in the world. I know that you too have tried things over and over and over, but to no avail. I want you to know that I feel your pain. I hate it that you've been through so many things that have robbed your pocketbook, that has hurt your heart and your self-esteem and left you still overweight. Why do I hate it? Because it makes you feel like you're a failure. But I want you to know the truth. You're not the failure. You've only applied the wrong medicine to this heart condition. This is a heart condition, it's a spiritual condition. And so when you've tried dieting, that's the wrong thing. And in addition, you still have more hope because you've not tried way down and turning to God. So because of those two things, you have hope. You have hope. Now, some of you have tried way down into the, in the past, but you're back in here because you didn't put everything into practice, but you knew that this was the truth. It's time for you to just let your past efforts go. Let all your anger go. Let all your depression go. You need this new hope. You need this class. You may say, well, I just don't know if this is gonna work for me. But the reason that that question is not even applicable here is because this class is not going to be doing the work. You are. You're going to learn how to put your energy in it and to go to work here and take on personal responsibility and accountability. You're gonna learn how to put your actions, all this stuff into an action. We're not gonna focus on self or food or others. This is gonna work because this is about you and your heart and God Almighty is gonna be on your side. How refreshingly different and how powerful this is. You're gonna find that you've been given everything you need for life and godliness. It's time to get started. It's time to make the right choice. One more thing, I want to warn you that when you get close to this truth, there's going to be more spiritual warfare. There is no way that Satan made it easy for you to even get to this orientation, so there's no way that he's gonna make it easy for you to join this class. I know him. He's going to be fighting for you and trying to get you back into the broad road that leads to destruction. When you get close to the truth, it is such a prize. Why wouldn't you just expect there to be troubles, like the car breaks down, or you seem to uh, have no money that month, or there may be someone that gets sick in the family on the night of class, or people seem to need you more, et cetera, et cetera. Or people will start saying, oh, don't go to that class. These scares are just tests, and these tests are just signs that you are going the right direction. It's because God's calling you and Satan's trying to get you away. Between the two of that, there's going to be confusion. But God is allowing this to be a test to see if you would come after him and go to him for this problem and learn to leave the food behind. This is a beautiful journey and your efforts will be rewarded. Unlike all other expenditures and efforts, this time is, it's gonna be God. And this time, it's gonna be God-led. And this time, it's going to be God-blessed. You will see immediate dividends. Just trust me, and please just trust God. Okay, guys, has this not been so exciting to learn and see all these testimonies of the people that have applied the truth, and the truth has set them free? But they all had to start week one down a narrow path. 
And Jesus said broad is the way that leads to destruction. Well, what's the broad way? The broad way is dieting. It's pills. It's suction-assisted lipectomies. It's the easy way out. Trying to make the food change. Blaming everybody else for your weight. You've got to be different. You have got to change. And you can change. Join the people who've changed. And it makes all the difference. And you're going to find the way to change is down this narrow path in this truth that God showed you today. So get packed up and come along. On this He's made of stone. You won't live forever. You're almost grown. So when you come in home. You have to be different. You can do this. There is rest for the weary. God, show me. The only way that the church can make it is if we band together, stake the land and take it. If we love the law of God and don't forsake it, then perhaps this beat up band can make it. Didn't finish my course of divinity. All the crazy rules didn't make sense to me. But I know that I can win it if I stand with thee. And all your saints will reign it for infinity. This is for my girl who sits outside all alone on the stone so cold at night. The angels gather round, look down and cry. Spread our wings and fly. This is for the boy who's all alone over the years and the tears he's made of stone. You won't live forever, you're almost grown. So when you come in home, this is for my girl who sits outside all alone on the stone so cold at night. The angels gather round, look down and cry. Spread our wings and fly. This is for the boy who's all alone over the years and the tears he's made of stone. You won't live forever, you're almost grown. So when you come in home.